Hi everyone, Dutch Reefer here, welcome to this tank update. So today is Sunday and I wanted to show you the tank using the new camera during the day. So what I failed to tell you last time is that I was filming in the evening, it was around 8 p.m. So the image was a bit on the blue side. Some people commented saying, okay, it's pretty blue. Overall, they, uh, you, the, the people, like the image better than before, but still it was a bit blue. So here I am to show you the tank during the day. It's 1.30 p.m. now, so it's uh, during the day and uh, the colors are a lot brighter now, as you can see. Somebody else commented that the colors looked a bit more pastel-like, which I agree with. The colors are somewhat softer than before. So, I wanted to show you the tank using the new camera in a bit more detail. So again, this video will be shot in uh, 4K 60fps. So you will see all details pretty well. If you set your resolution to uh, whatever your TV or monitor supports, or your phone for that matter. And I'll just try to give you some nice close-up shots in this video. So that's what this video will be about. I will also try to uh, zoom in on some corals like I did last time try some different corals this time so one of my Montipora has actually started to die off a bit this one to be precise so as you can see the edges are still okay-ish, but the uh, main part of the coral has overgrown with uh, algae, algae. So uh, this is a uh, goner, sadly. I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure what caused it. At first, it, it started during the uh, Montipora eating nudie branch phase, but it uh, kept declining even after that. Let's see if we can... Yeah, this uh, simple Gorgonian. It's pretty brown, but it's still... I like it a lot because it has very fluffy polyps. And of course I can also show, also show you the Cephastrea now a lot better. So normally you would see this. And now when I can zoom in I can show you the actual polyp expansion of the Cephastrea. Which as you can see are all tiny little green flowers which I really like about this uh, coral that each and every individual polyp extends a bit and then here in the middle it has started branching out and then all over the back it's just spreading out and literally overgrowing everything but that's uh, <laughs> that's okay So here are the Antias, the Evansi. Very beautiful fish. I've had these three in there for, uh, well, about two years now. I've had more, but in the end they always uh, go back to these three. So I have stopped trying to add more since apparently they are uh, perfectly fine with each other.
So another thing to show you in close up will be the green star polyp. A bit more of a simple coral, but nevertheless cool to see how it extends a lot. Then the Stylophora, which has also, of which is reaching, not also, but which is reaching the uh, top of the water. So this will be just in time to move it to the new tank, since otherwise it would be uh, starting to grow above the waterline and then the, the tops will uh, definitely die off. So it's about time, as you can see. So I've already moved this from this location to this location so it's already again grown a few centimeters it's time to uh, to move it again here's the regal, regal angelfish Pigoplites dicanthus if you're wondering but if you're looking for a regal angelfish then you'll uh, definitely find it very beautiful angelfish but as I've shown you in my previous video as with most angelfish they are not very reefs so I had to continue this video without the gimbal uh, because uh, it ran out of uh, battery so if the last few minutes of this video will be a little more shaky or the audio will be a little less clear then you know uh, why I'll try to keep it as stable as possible using my hand but uh, yeah, well, you will notice a difference because the gimbal uh, does a really nice job so here's the uh, goniopora in a close up the purple one the pink one and the green one and while we're at it the purple one the yellow one which is beautiful polyp expansion as you can see but also the red one behind that the very long tentacled green one so let's do some more uh, fish close-ups if they are willing to so one of the upsides of using the zoom that I can stay away a little more from the glass which will calm the fish a bit so being very close to the glass will obviously spook the fish so this way I can stay a little further away to make sure the fish are not uh, too much spooked and behaving more naturally like these clownfish which are hosting the euphilia Or this Halichuras timorensis rasa, which does a really nice job in uh, removing pests from the aquarium. So 
So as you can see when you close up, there's quite a lot of junk floating through the aquarium, which is actually pretty normal. So when you're moving away from a distance, then it looks like the water is very pristine and clear. And then when you zoom in a little closer, you start seeing the particles that are floating inside the water, as you can see right now, which will be even more when you zoom in. See? So it's perfectly normal for your tank to have uh, particles floating in it. It's a very normal and natural thing to uh, to have that. So a little zoom in on the zoanthus. And then I guess it's time to uh, to end this video, to stay a bit close to the 10 minute mark which we usually have. So because uh, the gimbal uh, ran out of battery, the video is a little long. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.